hello YouTube here I'm going to show you how to enable Facebook login to your web project so I'll be showing the step-by-step -step process how to do that just follow me first you have to create an Facebook app ID for your web page so I'm just showing how to create that search for uh, enable Facebook login in website so if you search this you will get a Facebook developers page just open it so this will be your first page for that to enable uh, how to enable Facebook login now go to my apps and uh, go to add a new app so it's a basically a website I'm showing click on website so it's uh, asking for a name for your website create new Facebook app ID give your email ID just select your uh, type like on uh, just putting it as education create a new app submit to create it okay so just uh, move on this no problem now so from here just put uh, your site url as local host because i'm trying going to try this in my local host if you are uh, directly put into your website uh, just uh, put your website name with the dot com extension just put and click next if you don't know how to host a website java website to your real a java project to your real website i have my other video how to create it just watch and uh, study it and from here just go to the login now just go down you can see an html page uh, of uh, the login section which we want to copy this uh, this html page to our uh, to our jsp file so i have just copied this one and created a test project here this is a just that html this html here i have just copied here and there is a section uh, like uh, app id here so copy the new app id here i'll show you so to get your new app id just go to the app you have created so you'll get your new app id here just click it come here just paste it here just save it so i have saved it now again go to settings basic settings now you can see the app domain here just put local host here nothing else just put local host select it and just save changes that's all now let's try running this one i'm just copying is just the login button has come here now i'm just copying this to my chrome and let me try this okay so it's saying to please uh, login i'm just clicking to login so once you click it this will be the screen uh, which uh, your users also are getting so just click continue uh, as you as uh, the name so the users might get uh, logged in and the details will be fetched to your application see here so it's successfully logged in with your app application so the name you got uh, here of the user so this is how it works now i will show you further how to use this in your projects like you cannot stop here you have to log in further so a little bit modification i'll do in the coordinate codes of uh, the current HD, the jsp file and i'll show you uh, let me code it and i'll uh, put all the codes in the description you can use it okay let me uh, code it first now 
I have uh, created two pages fblogin.jsp and fblogincontrol.jsp so here I have done some modification uh, apparently here I am uh, I wrote uh, to get uh, the name and email field from after login of the user and uh, a href link here to pass the to another link I mean another page fp login controller.jsp so here i am just receiving that e name i am not taking gender name and email id once you got in this controller you can use whatever you want you can just pass it to your uh, database or you, your model class and uh, do whatever you need i mean if uh, it's a new user create a, a new user id and put him the database or if it's an existing user check in the database if he is exist and if he is existing just return if it ex existing and go to the home page you can do anything you want so i'll uh, run this one and show you how this works i have copied uh, the link and just paste it in the chrome now you can see here it's already logged in if you click it will just log in again if it's not now uh, i am just hovering on that href link you can see down uh, it's passing the email id to the another page so once i click it's uh, uh, got the name and email id there so it's in the fp control fp login control jsp so this is how it works like uh, uh, once uh, the application returns the uh, user email id and the name you can just use it to uh, pass it to any controller or any model and uh, this is how it works so you can use this anywhere you want in the jsp so this is how it works so hope you all got this if you have any doubt in this just comment below i'll be happy to help you and you can download the source code there so please subscribe for my videos and